This is my how-to on making soap. So what you're going to need is gloves. You can just use disposable hospital gloves, whatever they're called. Um, you'll need a stove or a portable burner like this one. Something to, this is for my lie, but something to pour into a scale. Thermometer. This is, a, I think, a milk thermometer. Goes up to 200 degrees. Two spatulas. And then your other ingredients, which I'll get to later. Um, this recipe is six pounds of oils. Uh, it'll be a little more than that when it's done, but. Um, this is my lard and coconut oil, 50% each of each, three pounds lard, three pounds coconut oil. And then this is 34 ounces of frozen milk. I use frozen because the lye will actually burn the milk if you don't use frozen. A lot of people mix it into water first and then when the water cools down, put the milk in. But if you do it that way, you can't get as much milk in it. It's mostly water-based. And I like to do milk, so you freeze the milk, just an ice cube trays. And then it will take, and I'll post this down below too, but um, 15 ounces of lye, which I'll weigh out here in a minute, and 4 ounces of essential oil. These are both 4 ounces, but I'm going to use, I'm going to make two different kinds here. I'm going to use two ounces of one, two of the other. Tea tree and lavender. And that's what this bowl over here is for when I get done mixing it all. And then I'll pour about half of it in here. First thing I need to do is plug my little burner in. Okay. So I'm not going to turn this on very high. I'm going to put it on two. This is going to take uh, quite a while to melt. Um, I believe it needs to get up to 98 degrees and you don't want to melt it too fast or it goes above that and it gets um, really liquidy. And even if you bring it back down to 98, it's still really liquidy and then it takes a lot longer to come to a trace. So, so for my molds, I just have a chunk of PVC pipe the little frame I made and we have these cups. So I'll do first, I'm gonna just brought a little piece of string wrap on here. This goes on the caps. So that little soap on the and then we got the bottom. Okay, so this is melting 
much faster than it should be. Let's turn it off for a bit. Go. If you do get low on you just rinse under the faucet really well. And that should be fine. lump in there. Better to try breaking it up first because sometimes it comes piling out and spills all over. Which it did break up so it's going to come up. The oil is almost there, but not quite. You can see these white lumps in there. Don't be tempted to just do it like this because it's not worth it. Get it all nice and smooth. Also, the oil temperature I think is supposed to be 86, not 98 or whatever I said. It's about 88 right now. And as it drops below it, I'll turn the burner back on. Yeah, this is still a little bit too warm to pour together, but I'm gonna do it because people are coming out. So get this video made here. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to stir, but that's okay. So I recommend that you pour it in and stir it at the same time, but it's a little bit hard for me to do by myself, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so this part is the frustrating part. It can, it just takes about an hour of stirring this thing, whole time. So I'll shut this camera off now and come back when it gets to what it needs to be. I think I'm going to be watching drive through history or something. Okay, so this took much, much longer than I thought it would. I usually put it, I usually put this bowl in ice water while I keep stirring and, and um, it'll get lumps and then you have to pull it out and stir it until the lumps dissolve and then put it back and cool it down. It took me all afternoon, probably like four hours of mixing this. It's right now six. Yeah, probably three hours. It's six o'clock right now. Anyway, finally got it where I want it, I think. And I don't know if you can see this though. I have to pull this off the tripod and see if you can see it. Okay. You see how it sits on the top for just a little bit before it sinks back down in? That's exactly what you're looking for. And if you do this, you'll see it. It sits on the top for just a teeny, teeny bit. I, I prefer it to sit on the top for a little bit longer, but sometimes when you put the essential oils in, it makes it do that. So we don't want to, I don't want to get it in that state and then put the oils in and make it go too far. So I'm going to do it right now. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm not sure I trust this scale. Okay. 
it's a max it out at three and a half pounds. Scrape the sides well enough. We got a little bit of hardening around the sides, but you can scrape that back in right now. I need to dump about half of each of these bottles in each of the or yeah, half of the bottle in each batch. mistake by making equal amounts of soap because I only have three molds and I'm probably going to need four my soap. It'll have to sit in here for two days and then I'll take it out and show cutting it up. But it has to be covered because it needs it, the heat it's going to give off for insulate. It needs the heat to cure it and the lye gives off its own heat so I just need to insulate it here. Check it or anything. Here we go. Don't get too full. 